On Wednesday, you had the 4-20 and New York Knicks versus the 5-20 and Golden State Warriors. The Knicks lost 10 in a row coming in, and the Warriors hadn't lost to the Knicks since Steve Kerr has been the head coach there. The Knicks led by more than 20 at one point, but it was a two-point game with a minute to go when Marcus Morris pulls up. He had 36 in the ball game. Warriors down five, under 20 to go now. Alec Burks fouled by R.J. Barrett, attempting a three. Burks make all three free throws to cut it back down to two. Now Barrett is fouled. He goes to the line for two, misses the first one. And things are getting a bit dicey now. He would make the second. It's a three-point game. Kerr drawing up a play. Just get it to D'Angelo Russell. Ties it, shooting up and over Mitchell Robinson. It's 112 apiece. And Russell sending it to overtime had 32 in the ball game. He had never scored more than 15 against the Knicks in his entire career. But the Knicks. Despite giving up the big lead, would rebound in overtime. Julius Randle for three. And then Morris to Mitchell Robinson slicing down the middle for the jam. 124-122. The Knicks snap a 10-game losing skid and get the first win for interim coach Mike Miller. The Memphis Grizzlies making a trip out to the desert on Wednesday to take on the Phoenix Suns. Ja Morant, 26 points in his return from a back injury his last time out. As we fast forward to the third quarter, Devin Booker going hesitation dribble off the window for two. Booker, a modest 15 for one of the league's leading scorers. Memphis's youth, though, playing well on the other. End. Jaron Jackson Jr. had three threes, 24 points in the ball game. Dylan Brooks had 27. In fact, Memphis 5-0 coming in when he scores at least 20. And then John ja Moran attacking the rack up over Aaron Baines for the bucket and the foul. Let this be a little foreshadowing of what's about to come a little bit later on. In the fourth, more from Phoenix. Down by nine. Let's make it a six-point game as Ricky Rubio, three of his season high tying 22 but here comes Ja working on Aaron Baines again and look what happens Ja Morant going to his left goes back with the right hand and throws one down on Baines that's one of the highlight dunks of the season thus far as Memphis would go on to win by seven on the 